Whoa, very loud. Very loud. Here we go! I'm so excited. Jesus Christ, YouTube. I and, I, and I guarantee you, I guarantee you, the actual stream is not going to be nearly this loud. Like, we're gonna have to fiddle with this, like, a lot <laughs> by the time we actually get to the, uh, the Xbox showcase. YouTube's countdown music is insultingly loud. Some of the trailers will be that loud, only some of them. I mean, I know, you're, like, you're joking, but also, yeah, that's usually how it goes. The one thing that no game showcase can get right is their audio leveling across the entire show. Oh, let's do this. U.S. Canada! Oh, let me make sure. Not Arabic. I mean, cool that they have it captioned like this. That's awesome, but also. Oh, we're finally doing this, are we? Because I was going to make a sandwich. Dave? Oh, shit! No way! Okay. Let's do it. Wait, wait. Playground? What do I think about heroes? Right off the bat, hold on. Well, we've all seen them. How no many? way! Swanning about the place. <laughs> it's Fable! With their disproportionately high cheekbones and comically massive weapons. Wanker. Roughing up bandits. I love Fable. I'm so excited like to, to play one someday. Bandits, don't they? Wow, wow, Living wait. Up with the common folk every single night. This is in game. Basis, I'll say the true heroes in game? Meet someone who's Sorry. breaking new ground with fruit, with veg on the agricultural side of things. Just look at them. Holy Not shit. Wafting around mythical creatures. This looks amazing. And that's what they are. Wafters. Yeah, well done. You see, I'm not here to slay legendary beasts. I'm here to conquer the vegetable. <laughs> the vegetable. Not a euphemism. Let's face it. The age of heroes is Conquering over. Conquering the this vegetable. This is the age of innovation. This, if you will, is the age of death. One moment. Oh my god, I'm so, I'm so pumped. This is awkward. Yeah. Oh, okay. That's what's going on. That's awesome! <laughs> no way! Oh my god! Oh no! Oh. <laughs> All right. The look, the look at the camera. Well, that just happened. I thought that was like a like an actual burger for a second. Okay, cool. So no no date or anything, unfortunately. But oh my god, that was awesome! World premiere. Great way to start. World premiere. Compulsion big game tours. Oh 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 the the low frame rate. Guys, low frame rate? I'm all I'm already I'm already in. Here, hold on. Just making sure my voice effects are on because I saw some peeking. What the hell? Oh, this is cool. You come to your house and it won't stay long. You look in the bed and somebody be gone. Death don't have no mercy in the land. I'm I'm genuinely I'm so on board. Shaking bones. Been a while. So you remember that? Favor you owe me? Lots of uh, lots of big people, small people so far. I'm looking for a creature. Huge, sneaky, teeth like knives. I 
I can't. The animation no? style is. I'm going crazy oh, right yeah, now. How about you guys? No. Come to your house. Nobody. What? <sighs> Not helpful. Who is? What studio is this? This is Ooh. awesome. Sneaky. South of Midnight? Who made it? Oh, it? oh, it's Compulsion Games. Oh, got it. I didn't, I didn't realize that was the name of the studio. Um, what did they do? Oh, they're behind We Happy Few. Okay, that makes, I, well, it makes sense why I'm not familiar. Um, World that's awesome here. though. Like straight up. Oh my God, I'm like already, I'm in, I'm in awe These right now. Dangerous times. Massive At entertainment. Least that's what I hear. This the I know it's the Star Empire? Wars game. Oh shit! Wait. They're everywhere. There, there have been a lot of rumors about this one. Actually, I don't know if there were rumors or here? an actual announcement, but I've, I've definitely heard of this. Wow. Okay. Oh shit, guys! It's Starship Troopers. I want to survive. Oh, hello. I have to play their game. Hello? Looks like I'm all in. She's in here somewhere. On second thought, I'm out. She's sort of a Han Solo type. There she is. Wow, okay, uh... A little bit weird, but oh, oh my god, no fucking way! Can we please get a Star Wars game where the main character isn't blatantly human? Yeah, I want someone subtly human. I want someone with hints of being human, but you're not quite sure. Like they're, I just need a chance. A little bit incomprehensible. Like you look at them and you're like, I think that's a person, but there's also a haze over your mind. Where you know you're not exactly entirely seeing what's out, there. Okay. Get off my ship, Jalen. Give me a chance. You're gonna have to trust me. You'll be dangerous, risky. But if you pull this off, you're describing Jar Jar Binks. I am not. <laughs> again. Try again. Oh, cool. Underworld shows no mercy. But it's a big galaxy out there, and I'm gonna risk it all. Damn, this looks so cool. It is unfortunately a Ubisoft game, so we'll have to see if it delivers. <laughs> oh, but Outlaws is a great, that's a great title. I'm very, very excited to see what comes of this one. That was cool. But again, like I, Hmm. I, I, I need some. I need again. I need some gameplay. Wow. Fable, South wow. of Midnight, Star Wars Outlaws. Hi, Welcome Sarah to Mond. our first ever double feature, the Xbox Game Showcase, yeah! followed by a deep dive into one of the most important RPGs ever made. Okay, well, <laughs> listen. Gaming is the most this, powerful. Starfield is one of the games I'm most excited about this year. But like, let's simmer down a little bit. Us, <laughs> and it's just incredibly and awesomely fun. That is why Team Xbox is committed to building the greatest place to play. That's a, yeah, that's a by claim. We'll see about that one. By the most ambitious of game creators and by unleashing the power of the gaming community, enabling all of us to play the games we want with our friends anywhere, from mobile devices to PCs to consoles. The lineup we have for you today is just incredible. These are the works of the very greatest creative teams from around the world. We and before we get started, for you, the largest, we have a special guest, globally diverse fan base in Xbox history. Hi, Miku. You this is are the heart and soul of Xbox. Your passion drives us, and you are the inspiration for the visionaries whose games we showcase today. From me and all of the team at Xbox, thank you. 
This next game is from Thunder Lotus, the award-winning studio behind Spirit Fair. Okay. We've gone back to their combat roots with an amazing co-op raid-focused action game that is uniquely theirs. Co-op raid-focused right, action everybody. game. It's time. Sign me up. World premiere. I've not played Spirit Fair, but I've heard good things. Whoa. Art style, art style, art style. I think, okay, so I think even though Xbox has been troubled the last couple generations, what appeals to me about Xbox in this sort of Series S, Series X era is they honestly give me vibes of like late or early to late era, or specifically late era PS3, where they're not exactly on the ropes entirely. Um, or they're not exactly like teetering on the edge, but what they are doing is really trying to like gain back goodwill by throwing so much creative weird shit at the wall. You know? Wait, 33 players? Sorry, I was... Face the wrath of God. I do that every day of my life, but you know. We could, I could, I could sim that kind of thing. That's insane. Oh my God, what the fuck? Anyway, yeah, I, so it's very, late era PS3 is like my favorite era of PlayStation and Sony. And I, I definitely appreciate that Xbox is really like capturing that vibe especially with, you know, with games like this and with stuff like the, the Double Fine acquisition, like crazy. Anyway, that looks, that looks really cool. Yeah, finally, my 32 friends and I. All right, that's gonna, guys, that's gonna be the worst Discord job. call you've ever been a part of, just so just you know. In and out. Nothing to it. Oh shit, guys! Oh fuck, wait! It's Starship Troopers! Everybody hit the floor! Finally, okay, I can retire the bit, thank god. Okay. <laughs> that joke is over. It's it's come full circle. YouTube chat was really bad, so I had to come here. You're safe now, my child. <laughs> here, here's here's a message from ScarJo. Hi, Miku. This is Scarlet. Being true to who you are makes all your dreams possible. Yeah, no, literally, like... Sorry, I thought she was a part of the Payday trailer. I'm sorry. <laughs> also, yeah, straight up, like literally the first thing I do, literally the first thing I do when I when I pull up the page for like a big game announcement stream is like I close the chat. I have not looked at the live chat for uh, like a game announcement of any kind on YouTube or Twitch in years. World and I've been premiere. it's been smooth sailing since I decided to always turn it off. There's literally no reason I ever want to look at it. Oh, hey, cool. The thing we know about. Oh, hey, cool. It's the thing we already know about. <laughs> oh, it'll be nice to see it in 4K, though. I'm now realizing this will be awesome. Yeah! Oh, that's looking great. Oh, that's crisp. Oh, oh, baby. Okay, seeing it in full quality, I'm pretty excited. I, I hope it's definitive, though. I know it's it's probably not going to be. But I, I, I sincerely hope they can beat the does not have the FEMC or the answer allegations. At the very least, include the, the answer, right? Like, ah, man.
water gurgling. Oh, oh, this looks very Assassin's Creed. Wait, this looks very chivalry. <laughs> Wait, this looks. Ah! People don't like you very much. Wait, wait, is this about? What is this about? Sent here to the living lands. No way! <laughs> I didn't actually think we'd get it! Oh my god, wait. I was literally gonna say it looks very Elder Scrolls. Oh my god. To investigate some play. It seems to be corrupting our very souls. You want us to trust you. Oh man. Is, you scare us. Yes! Oh my god, the magic looks amazing. <laughs> oh man. Oh my god. Okay, literally I'm like about to cry. All I need, all I need in this in this bitch of a life is for Starfield to hit and for this to hit. If both of those games are good, I'm set until 2032 or whenever Elder Scrolls 6 come out, you know? Or Gior. Destiny. Well, this looks power. so good. What are you gonna do with it? I'm gonna play your video game! Wow, 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 wow! Yes! Please, a date, a date, a date, please, I'm begging you. No, okay, that's fine. <laughs> I'll take it next year! Yes! Oh, I'm so emotional. Oh, man, okay, all right. I'll take it, I'll take it. Oh, my God. Yes! What? No way! Wait! Is it is it fucking is it a Monkey Island crossover? No way! <laughs> Straight up! Straight up! Welcome to the scum This presentation the is top shelf. Island. Wall to wall, this thing freaking sweeps. So tell me, which ship is right for you? A big ship? A luxury ship? A ship with just a splash? I have, I have not quad. stopped being absolutely the delighted Island. since you the beginning Governor of this. Guybrush. But Freebud's not set foot out of that mansion for almost a year. Hey, what do you think you're doing? I told you no autographs. Though I see you have a meet and greet ticket. And I guess it's not every day that you get to meet the mighty pirate Guybrush. I Street love Boy. Monkey Island. The I'd love to play one someday. Monkey Island. The Chuck has turned the memories of this island into a prison for Guybrush. Well, well. What do we have here? You need these. Things may be very different from the sea of things you know. Hold on! Wow, oh my god. Fuck. Play a new original story for free. Oh my god, July! That's awesome! Alright, I guess I'm playing Sea of Thieves again. Another premiere. Another world premiere. Oh man. Sobo. Oh. What? Okay. I mean, yeah, hey. This is for somebody. Not something I'm popping off over, but. Oh shit, wait, a story mode? Maybe? So people are saying that. 
some kind of a some kind of campaign. Wait, oh shit, oh yeah, this seems very, this is very like, it's very gameplay, you know? <laughs> Let's just say that. This, 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 this got some game to it, it seems. Look cool, but um, I don't know. I'm not hot air balloon. I'll be out of my mind. Wow, okay, that's like that's super, that's that's different. That's weird. I like it. So let's spend Dune. Oh. Oh. Man, why do they... God, why do they always separate the crossover like that with, like, the same bumper they do when they're about to start a new game? Stop doing that! You're freaking me out! Literally Dune, though, yeah. I actually don't know. Is it actually? Wait, is this actually Dune? I need to watch that. I need to watch that so so I know that this is Dune or not. It's actually Dune? Okay, I don't need to watch it anymore. My needs have been met. Hi, Melina here, speaking oh! to you from our performance capture stage at Ninja Theory where we Hellblade have just two. wrapped our shoots for Senua Saga Hellblade 2. When we first showed gameplay for Hellblade 2, it was a look at some of the game's cinematic and immersive action, where Senua faced off against a gigantic troll on the Icelandic coastline. God, I feel like I've been hearing about this game for 12 years. <laughs> Today, we're taking you deeper into Senua's story, her personal quest, her unique perspective on the world, and the intimate journey that awaits you in Senua's saga. What you'll see today is all captured by the team on Xbox Series X. With an Elgato Game Capture HD. She can feel them slipping through her soul, following the threads of her mind. She's here to find them. The ones who hide. Me when I'm all out of Dunkin' Donuts munchkins, but I'm still hungry. <laughs> A question. But it's never so simple, is it? Wisdom has a price. She's going left and right and left and right and right and left. A part of you that this game has stereo audio technology. And a part of you that dies. Over there. That pool. I can feel them. Feel them everywhere. The lost ones. They are watching us. It's so interesting to me the progression of this this franchise within the span of two game releases. Cause like, wasn't the first one like, wasn't it kind of like revered for being like this really cool kind of like mash of like indie development and high fidelity 
graphical style, like it was, you know, being billed as like a double A release, like one of the first of its kind, you know? And now the next one is like this big, like, <laughs> full, like, triple A project. Where are you? What do they want? I don't like it. I'm scared. This is too bad. Their eyes. Ninja Theory was already a big studio. The first game was just much smaller scale. I got you. I got you. What is she supposed I don't, yeah, I don't mean that to be disparaging. I just think it's funny. What do you want me to do? Because I just remember that being such a big conversation around the first game. And then it's not really a factor anymore. <laughs> as soon as game two. You Yeah, dragon tear moment. That was weirdly similar. She is in the glass. That straight up looks like the Assassin's Creed 2 look. For those you led to death. Cool. now <laughs> just me. hey lady me too it's in america oh turns up dude yeah dude hang loose bro is he actually in america i mean yeah it's kind of wait where is he Oh, it's Hawaii! Oh, yeah! Oh, no. Poor guy. Infinite wealth? What? Oh, shit! Early 2024? Wait. Wait, wait, wait. Is that... Is that a... Is that an in-between? Or is that, is that eight? I'm so confused. Appalachia, what a sight. A verdant wonderland of promise plucked from post-atomic blight. The fruit of years of prudent progress and determined Whoa. reclamation. And 15 million dwellers worth of Fall clean imagination. From the heart of West Virginia to the depths of the pit. Oh, it's 76? 
Yeah, okay. No matter if you roam alone or spend your time with friends, you'll find a home in Appalachia where the good times never end. There are Just make a new Fallout, to please. I mean, they've already announced the Fallout 5, but I, I hate to break it to you. To We're not seeing that fucking more. game until, like, 2035. Our world is always changing. Greater foes are overthrown as we embark on expeditions into thrilling new unknowns. Yes, from Appalachian settlements to Nuka World on tour. You're never short on things to do or places to explore. Think you've seen it all, eh? Well, how about this? Pack your bags for an escape of Epicurean bliss. Put your rad shield on and fix your hair up pretty because we're headed I'm, for I'm the I'm still so confused. It's infinite wealth. So there the you full, have it. Like now a Dragon you know, 8 title? Or is that like... To make the is that like a man who erased his name thing? I don't know why they would like... I know, I know it's infinite. Because I, I know infinite is like, oh, it's 8 turned on its side. I get that. But like... Answer the call of Vault 70. Ah, I don't know. I don't know. Play it now with I don't know. I don't know if I can handle Like a Dragon 8 coming out early 2024. That's like this too soon. That's too soon. World premiere. Oh my god, I'm losing my mind. I, uh, apologies. I don't know if anyone's here watching both. I apologize for everyone on Joy's stream who may or may not have heard me just scream bloody murder. Capcom! Capcom! Is this a... Uh... It's like a... I don't know what this is. I'm not gonna guess. This looks so cool. <laughs> this is awesome. What is this? Driving action music. Literally, oh my god, this showcase fucks. This showcase absolutely rips. <laughs> like, we haven't even made it to Starfield. Oh my god. I was gonna say, this is reminding me of Monster Hunter, but I don't know a lot about Monster Hunter. And definitely the longer it goes on, I'm like, no, maybe not. I wonder if this is like a new, like a new thing. It might be a new IP. It looks, this looks awesome. <laughs> Path of the Goddess. That looks so cool. God damn. That was great. Oh man. Is that the full title? Probably. General Motors' historic commitment to performance is embodied in two of its iconic brands. Is Chevrolet this, uh, and Cadillac. Forza Motorsport? The V Series dot R elevates Cadillac's competitive spirit to a whole new level. With its thunderous V8 yeah, if it's if it's worth the time, I got power. some I got some time to write up a community post announcing the legendary Corvette the <laughs> has been a celebrated champion. The for one decades. way dream video on Victor the McKnight's channel. The Chevrolet Corvette e that was just posted. continues that tradition. General Motors is proud to usher in a new era yeah. of competition with the innovators behind the new Forza Motorsport. Forza Motorsport and Cool. General okay, Motors I do have time. Awesome. They're doing like a whole they're doing like a whole it's like a talk and everything. Modern design. Perfect. To take bold steps into the future and bring me, uh, that experience. Let me to post gamers. this on the main channel. I'm thrilled to welcome the Cadillac V Series dot R cars! and the Corvette E-Ray to the home okay, of competition. Having cars on stage in a show that isn't a live show is a little silly. That's like a little funny. But in like a, but not in a funny ha ha way, funny weird way. Let's 
tweak the car's performance for the next one. Hey, Sonic Pals. If you were a fan of Victor McKnight and I's cover covers of I Am All of Me and <laughs> Endless Possibility, you might like to know that, that was your best we... Lap yet. She also said that that we recently collaborated or that we recently released another collab and it's out now as a part of a larger frontiers cover album project god i i i my i'm so needlessly verbose man i mean Okay, maybe I'm being too hard on myself. Hold on. It's fine. I have seen Check it out now. And all that ever will be. Oh, okay, hold on. I'm back in. I'm back in. I'm back in. Is this... Oh, is this online? ESO? Oh, you know what? It's probably... Yeah, it's... it's I think it's Necron. Because I that just came out on PC, I think. the one who knows. I'm, I'm waiting to see if I, can, if I can get a code for it. Because if I do, I'm somewhat obligated to do a stream of it. For perhaps the first time in my unending existence, I feel disconnected from fate's flow. Unseen forces move against me, hungry for forbidden knowledge. A mystery long kept hidden. A secret that threatens to unravel reality itself. All right. I just posted, um... Hey, guys. Do me a... Hold on. Can you, like, do me a solid? I'm gonna post this link in chat. You don't have to, but if you have a moment and you're not, like, glued to the screen right now, could you go and, like, like this community post announcing the one-way dream cover? Just, like, just give it just give it a bump of some kind. If you want. No pressure. You don't have to, but it's there. Thank you, thank you. Okay, I'm back in. Thanks, pals. You're awesome. CSIS Unit 37. Toronto is under attack. Oh, cool. Wait, we have more time. No Guys, do it now. Do it now. <laughs> Go now. <laughs> They've taken over most of the city and they're rounding up Omnix. They need our help. Quick, there's no other choice. People are answering Vincent's recall. Quick, while, while it's still in Overwatch trailer. Click on the video, too. Go, go, go like the video as well. <laughs> Here, let me let me link that one too. <laughs> we can stop no sector. I'm pinning it, I'm pinning it. Coming through. <laughs> Been a while, Vivian. As if I didn't have enough problems already. So we fly up there, smash through anything that gets in our way. Another is this supposed to be like the PVE thing? But I'm picking up reports. That they canceled, but they're also efficient. still kind of doing. But also it's kind of canceled. But also they're still kind of doing it. I guess I don't fucking know, man. Flashpoint game mode. Oh man. Hero mastery. Hey, did they forget to take this out of the showcase or something? <laughs> like, oh god, wait. <laughs> we, we still have the skill tree in there. Uh-oh. <laughs> you can't do this. 
this right after they announced that it's not what are you talking about so like i i understand that they didn't they essentially they didn't announce that they were not doing any pv content i think they just announced that i saw that it's not going to be of the same scope which is still disappointing because that was the whole reason they made the sequel anyway but i guess they're still doing it in some form here we go it's tactica time what is this place saw this it one too looks like we're in a palace god i Who are these, people? these are my best no friends idea. just so you know if they're attacking us our only choice is fighting back hey, i am gonna play there. this game can you get us out of here so you're telling me you're thieves who steal hearts and you just happen i'm actually i'm actually so world. down for a persona 5 tactics game the rebel core will always help the fantasy this art style also looks adorable I'm, I'm like super down for it Never forget that we're a united force who can rely on each other. You should be grateful to have been made my subjects, but you're just mannerless little brats. <laughs> Unfortunately, returning will be no easy feat. Somewhere deep inside, I know you realize things can't go on like this. So, will you take a stand beside us? Let's show them what we got. So cool, so cool. I'm into it. I know I know general consensus is that Persona 5's <laughs> continued dominance over the Persona brand since 2016 is like kind of exhausting, I think. I don't know actually that for I don't know that for sure. I'm relatively recent Persona fan, but like um man. Oh! Humanity has always hunted for knowledge. Wow! We get a trailer beforehand? <laughs> the wonder is. Not that the field of stars is so vast. I don't I don't know. I, I think we're just getting another but that we have measured it. Like a little quick taste. Oh man! <laughs> Man, oh god, I hope this is good. I hope it's good, man. I don't know. I'm too I'm too excited for it for it to be bad. It doesn't it doesn't we're look bad. Because we're committed to the biggest question of all. What's out there? Video games. Joy said she wasn't gonna watch the Starfield direct. <laughs> You're part of Constellation now. Part of Couldn't our be me. Family. Wow! Oh, that looks so cool. That that like outpost is all that is at work here. It looks directly no ripped out of Outer stars Worlds, stars which is funny. This mystery. I'll follow you from here on out, Captain. Grab jump is ready. I love this part. Wow! Oh my god. These artifacts could be everything we've been looking for. Another great secret the universe is asking us to unravel. Dude. Oh. Human settlements throughout the galaxy could be at risk. Whoa! Cool melee. Nice. <laughs> While he's down. We yeah, that's a that's Bethesda gunplay for sure. At the end of this road. That's all. That's not you know. That's not really we'll why I'm playing the game. Forever. Wow! 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 This is where we belong. Oh man, dude. Oh, I can't. I can't wait. It's so soon. Yeah. Oh man. I'm going crazy. World. We're 
another premiere. world premiere. World premiere. I'm so glad they brought back the world premiere guy. Climbing, climbing, climbing. Whoa. <clears throat> yeah, it's just like just like Tears of the Kingdom. They got the they got the climbing set on. This is cool. I like it. In story games. <laughs> For the sake of this shit. Honestly, that's hey, that's fine by me. They, if they get to work on something they're passionate about, and uh, we get more Life is Strange games in the future by the team that did True Colors, that's a okay. That's a okay. Jusant. That's so cool. That looks very nice. I'll be I'll be keeping an eye on that. World premiere. Another world premiere. Secret mode. The Chinese room. Okay, okay. I'm into it. The vibes. Oh. Oh. Oh shit, it's an immersive sim, I can tell. <laughs> scary are you trapped on an oil rig with a monster that's awesome wait wait oh i'm gonna play the shit out of that that's awesome oh so soft so music Paper cut 2.0? Is that what that said? Super cut. <laughs> Sorry. Whoa! Art style! Art style! Whoa! Yes. Yes. Give it to me. Give it to me now. They got little wizard hats. Give it to me now. Wait, wait. Last time I said that, they did a shadow drop. Can we get that same energy? So cool. This is great. Wait, they got like different dungeons of Hinterberg. They got like a bunch of different gameplay styles. Ah, oh, damn it. <laughs> All right. That's fine. Take your time. Take your time, friends. Looks looking great, though. Looking great. Thumbs up. Hi. <laughs> I'm very excited. <laughs> to be returning as John Silverhand in the upcoming expansion for Cyberpunk 2077, Phantom Liberty. This Hell yeah. new adventure reunites Johnny and V on a dangerous spy mission. 
and introduces Idris Elba as secret agent Solomon Reed. Idris! It's really amazing to share the screen with you, Idris. It's cool to be a part of this game with you, man. Um, as a player, you'll get to visit Dogtown, an unexplored part of Night City, and rescue the president of the new United States of America. Expect a massive expansion, twists, secrets, and plenty of stuff to do. I know the team at CD Projekt Red just keeps raising the bar when it comes to telling cinematic stories in video games. And I really can't wait for you to play it on Xbox Series X and S. Cool. But enough talking. I'm guessing yeah, stop you talking, for yourself. Keanu Reeves. And so it is my honor Clearly. and pleasure to give you and introduce the official Clearly we've had enough of you. Liberty. Which is what I would say if I was wrong. <laughs> There's got to be a way out of this. Johnny. I'm dying. There's nothing can stop that. Oh, I didn't know that. <laughs> I still haven't been played. Me. <laughs> My name is Songbird. Shit. I'm an NUS intelligence analyst. I know about the bomb ticking in your head. I've been, I've, I've literally, I've been waiting. I want to do... What's the catch? I've I've been thinking about doing a let's play downtown. of this, just like Attention in my spare time. But um, I've I've actually been waiting for this expansion because they're gonna update it with like a bunch of new mechanics and stuff. Man's got a thousand and one reasons to want Myers as a hostage. Sleeper agents. Time to wake them up. So NUSA's tossing us back into the fray, huh? Stay sharp. We're in the wolf's den now. Myers out of there. Time to evac. Her safety is the top priority. Shit, shit, shit. They catch us out here, we're dead. Wait, hear that? God Almighty, it's moving! Run! God Almighty! This way, quick! Cool, cool. Danger. Whoa, that pyramid. You know, v, That's treason awesome. ain't ever black and white. Oh, he looks so cool. It's a charade, V. Wherever she goes, people get hurt. Bodies drop. Just want what Songbird promised me. The cure. Nice. Situation's changed. I need to know if you're with me. Illusion of freedom draws in the dust, bro. Take your truth, V. Come on. Got iron in your head. Gotta put it to someone's head. Pull the trigger. Do Ooh. And do it some, some of these environments are looking super cool. Nice. Oh, shit. Uh, September 26th. Cool. Hey, yeah, I will definitely be uh, more strongly considering doing like a just like a casual playthrough. All footage captured in game. What is this? Probably like not on stream though. I I have too much stuff to stream. It would be, it would be pre-recorded. Isn't that a couple days after Starfield? Not a couple days, nearly a month. Whoa, wait, hold on. Yeah, is this cities too? Cities. Every home, every skyscraper, every roundabout, every district, every city is gay. <laughs> Happy Pride Month. We literally, literally same, same hat. Is nothing without you. Aw. Thank you, thank you. You shouldn't have. Literally, you shouldn't have. It's, it's already gone to my head. You, you've officially given, you, you officially, I was teetering on the threshold of having enough confidence to commit an atrocity, but I was like not there yet, but that compliment just pushed me over the edge. You make 
fun of me. <laughs> Why? Stop it, please. Bad city skylines too. Cool. I might check it out. I don't know. A city sim sounds like kind of a nightmare for like my um my attention deficit. <laughs> like I don't know if I would be able to keep track of this kind of thing. I get stressed out trying to keep track of the Sims. You know. World premiere. <laughs> you are, you, are, you are, oh, 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 okay. What if Atlas made good game? <laughs> oh, shit, what is this? <laughs> Whoa, whoa! What the fuck? Whoa, actually, this looks sick. Oh, yeah? Oh, you don't say. Oh, is this the oh? Oh, I guess I guess this is the game that the the original Persona director was working on since since leaving the Persona team. That's cool. Oh yeah, it's in a free fantasy, right? Something like that. It, I mean, I can't lie. It looks incredible. Does that say metaphor? Re fanta re zero? Yeah, metaphor. Wow! Cool! I'll I'll be keeping an eye on that. That's awesome. Re Fantasio. Meta 4. Oh no! <laughs> what happened to Meta 3? <laughs> ah! Whoa! None of these cities have fallen. Our people's only means of survival cool, cool, cool. is to seek sanctuary here. In Whoa! the Belfry. Oh, that look, I. That. That's a striking visual. Must explore this immediately. To find the origins of this evil. And bring hope back to our people. Is that AI art? Listen. One, probably not. Two, you got you got to take a break from Twitter. <laughs> I'm just saying. <laughs> you gotta log off for a little bit. That's my recommendation. This looks cool. Together. I know I'm losing it. <laughs> No, I feel you. I feel you. Listen, not to call you out. I, I hope you're doing well. Just take care, you know? Just take care. World premiere. That was cool. Oh, 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 in exile. Dude, like. Oh my god. Oh my god, this showcase is amazing! Lady Ironwood. This city is a miracle of progress. A finely tuned, delicately balanced machine. What is this? It's giving, yeah, it's giving off some, 
Well, I don't I don't want to say it's giving off Bioshock vibes. I think it's too it's too classic steampunk, I think, for Bioshock. Rebellious little gear. But then again, I'm not I haven't played Bioshock, so everything. If you resist my rule. If you wow. alter our past. If you threaten what I have built. This is so cool. There is nowhere in space or time where I will not destroy you. Wow. This is an immersive sim, I can tell. Change the past. Wow! Whoa! Wait! Dude, I really hope there's like some some like real like dynamic in-game time travel shenanigans that aren't just like story moments. Last that would be so cool. Before my friend puts one in your scalp. Clock! Work! Revolution! <laughs> Love that. Thank you. Holy fuck. That was cool. I'm Tick, and this is Talk. Thank you all for joining us. Today is a special day for me and the team. I'm excited like to see clock. 11 games showcased from our first party studios. We opened with Fable from Playground Games, which will bring the franchise into the modern era while staying true to its British style and humor. Compulsion and an Exile have doc, have shared their some points first for that original film, sorry. experiences since joining Xbox with South of Midnight and Clockwork Revolution. I thought we were ignoring the elephant in the and room. And we are thrilled at how Avowed is shaping up for release next year from the RPG Masters at Obsidian. God, I cannot wait for Avowed. In addition Avowed, to Avowed, I, our going studios crazy. will deliver Hellblade 2, an all new Microsoft Flight Simulator, Powerborn, and more in 2024. Later this month, players can look forward to Elder Scrolls Online Necrom and Sea of Thieves Monkey Island. As we look to holiday, we will launch Starfield and Forza Motorsport both built for Xbox Series X, S, and PC. We are so also honored to share 14 games today from our creative partners, like Star Wars Outlaws from Ubisoft Massive in collaboration with Lucasfilm Games, 33 Immortals from Thunder Lotus, Kunitsu Gami, Path of the Goddess from Capcom, Oh and more shit, Persona okay, Path of the Goddess wasn't the full Pass, title. Thanks to our continued partnership with Sega Atlas. Talk I'd about like a dragon. I'd also like to congratulate the Studio Zero team on Metaphor Say his name. <laughs> It's great to be able to premiere what is next from the creators of Persona here in our showcase. We are focused on putting our players and game creators first in everything we do. No matter if you choose to play on Xbox, PC, or over the cloud, all gamers are welcome here at Xbox. Yeah. When it comes to our consoles, we have Maybe heard not your all feedback gamers. <laughs> on two fronts. First, we have significantly increased our supply of Xbox Series X, making it easier for fans to find globally. Second, we know you've wanted more storage with Xbox Series S, and I'm excited to share we have some news there as well. Oh? Oh, okay. In black. Series S black. Cool. Hey, nice. It looks cool. Whoa, one terabyte. Oh, shit. I don't mind that. Yo, the Series S, genuinely like a great value. Three forty nine. Wait, did they raise the price? Oh yeah. Well, it's because it, it has a one terabyte. And Got now it. for the one more thing you've all been waiting for. Prepare Literally, for the, the price most of a comprehensive switch OLED. deep dive we've ever yes! done 
for the biggest game we've ever built. <laughs> So I'm sit tight and in. enjoy Starfield Direct. I'll enjoy, Phil. I'll enjoy. Thank you so much. I'm so excited. Hey, listen, in terms of the beginning of the showcase, that was great. That was fantastic. Penny is yelling and kicking her little feet. It's true. It's true. I'm screaming. You can hear me. You can hear me screaming. I'm so excited. That was the best showcase of this batch. Oh, by far. By far. 100%. <laughs> okay, all right. Please be good. Please look good. I'm begging you. Wow, 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 wow. Hey, everyone. Thank you so much for joining us today, and welcome to... Bethesda Game Studios. You know, we've been so lucky over the decades to make the Hi, kind Don! of games that we love here. And that's thanks to all of you from the Elder Scrolls to Fallout. We love creating these worlds and playing in them just as much as you do. And throughout I'm, all I'm that keeping time, a close we'd often talk eye. about and dream up the space game. I'm keeping what a close eye on the Xbox account because I know be they're about to drop that new world Starfield limited edition controller. Space, where you and I will be buying where you could go the moment it's up. Do. And that is Starfield. Obviously, we've come a long way since then with the games we've built, our technology, and all of us here in the studio. We've done so much together, but well, we've never tried to make a game like this. Today, you'll get to hear from many on the team and see so much of what we think makes our game special. So let's jump in and take a look. Please, thank you so much, Todd. Starfield is They're our walking. first new universe in over 25 years, but it's still a Bethesda RPG through and through. Love where that. Where you step into a new world and you get that feeling of unlimited possibilities. But this time, it's not just one world. It's over a thousand worlds. God, the that's... the choice of where to go, it's not ours. That's the big it's question, yours. right? Is like, how are they going to make that until work? Now that we have the technology to create it, dude, they look the so good. From the your feet to the mountains in the distance, to the people and creatures that live in these worlds. That isn't just a backdrop. That moon is actually there, orbiting the planet. Yes, you can visit it too. We realistically simulate the galaxy around you. Our next generation lighting model uses real time global illumination to light the world based on the type of star and the makeup of the planet's atmosphere. It's pretty cool. I love myself some global we illumination. We also have an all new animation system. And of course, you can play it in third person or first person. And you can play it in first person. Third person mode actually looks fantastic, which is great because. Skyrim's third person mode is like we love exploration and rewarding it, but you do <laughs> like explore really bad. differently in this game given its scale. That usually involves exploring an area you've landed in. You can collect resources. Yes, the laser! Do a mission and maybe even stumble upon something unexpected. Whoa! You get 20 XP for almost dying, for almost getting shot in the middle of the forest. Nice! Okay! This looking, um... I don't know, maybe it's placebo. It, it looks a little better than the initial showcase of the gunplay. Um, I mean, again, it's still, like, I'm not expecting Halo from this, you know? Like... We do if it's serviceable and, and it serves the rest of the game well enough, up, and you can it's fine by me. In your data menu, this is the hub for everything you're doing, from your skills to your ship, your missions, and your inventory. Cool. We love to pack a ton of detail in every object, from all of your weapons to space. Thank God they got that sky UI look to, to it. Food. We just obsess over the details, and food. We obsess over food. 
When you're done exploring, you can walk back or fast travel to your ship. We have companions and crew you can take with you. I left Vasco here back at my ship. Welcome I'm back, so excited. Captain Howard. And he can Hi, even Vasco. say your name. Let's head out. Hi, Vasco. Oh shit, they did the thing from Fallout 4, except it's for the companion that follows you through the entire game. Our mission That's was amazing. to convey the wonder and majesty of space exploration, to evoke the romance of the golden age of early space flight. And we've been referring to this approach as NASA punk. This means a design language cool. where the tech is advanced, yet still looks grounded and relatable. For us, it's, it's that contrast. That's where the visual interest is. Obviously, the NASA, which is the rigid, hard function over style, and then punk, which is all about style. You can see that I like that. I, I think that's a that's a in very ship. interesting aesthetic. Your ship is your home for you. I'm and very into that. And like many of the spaces in our game, it has a slightly retro and analog touch. You get a bit of lo-fi okay. rather than sci-fi, where everything is well used, worn, and how much can in. you customize the cabin? Alrighty. What's the plan, Captain? This is your star map. It starts with the planet Dude. you're currently on. You can see all of its info and resources. You can choose a landing spot or fast travel to known locations. Backing out further, you can view all the planets in the system. Wow. Obviously, the game is big, and it's here you can see planets that have key locations, missions, or life on them, versus God. the many planets that are barren but resource heavy. Yeah, okay. Zoom out I imagine that's going to be a, a majority of the thousand of the planets. Here you can plot a course Lots to of ones places that are just to mine away. and gather resources and stuff. This uses your ship's grav drive to fold space and jump to these systems. And you will need to upgrade your ship and skills if you want to jump to the most distant ones. But for now, we'll plot a course to the Alpha Centauri system. That's fair. Yeah, I, I don't mind that. I don't, I don't consider that a criticism, honestly. That's just how the freaking universe is. <laughs> like, I don't mind that at all. Welcome to UC Space. Maintain your current course while we scan your ship's cargo. Scan complete. You are cleared for landing at New Atlantis. Dude. Okay, so yeah, so landing is a loading transition, which is understandable. I'm I'm glad they're prioritizing. As soon as you land in a city like New Atlantis, your you know, eyes just like are the, guided upwards to just these boundless, vast buildings. The smoothness of each it's individual experience, rather than trying to like made. not just in paste size, them together, but also in the amount of custom make it seamless. Art, crowds and quests. So the main focus Dude, when we're designing so a city cool. is obviously what supports the story. We try and tell as many small stories as possible. This is a colony war memorial. It's a few moments of gameplay that make the space feel like it's full of real characters that are going about their day-to-day -day lives. It's paralyzing. That looks amazing. To really stop and think about it. Buddy, it's coffee. I got it's a little coffee shop. Where oh my your god. Adventure with constellation begins. I'm literally I'm uh I can't wait to play this. Now I'm Welcome honestly constellation. Mm. We have a lot to talk about. By the time we have a you lot meet to them, talk about. She said it twice in her sort head. Of seen as this mythical group. Most people don't even know they exist anymore. They're the last true explorers in the galaxy, and they're trying to find the answers to some of humanity's biggest questions. The artifacts are so different, so alien, and I'm certain one of them reached out and spoke to you. The artifact. If you could place it on the table here. Oh my god. Look at how it's coming together. That means there's a set built by an intelligence outside the settled systems. It's definitely uh. an eclectic cast of characters. You've got Sarah Morgan, the ex-soldier and adventurer, now Constellation's leader. Mateo, the theologian who believes that there's definitely something else out there. Noel, the gifted scientist and Sarah Morgan's protege and Walter, a very successful businessman in the settled systems and Constellation's financier. Anything goes as long as you have the money. There's also Vlad, the ex-pirate, Sam Coe, the former space cowboy, cool. and Barrett. You know what Barrett. I hear about these pirates? Completely resistant to my otherwise irresistible charm. The journey Fuck you yeah, take Barrett. with Constellation is just the first of many you'll embark on. 
The Settled Systems is home to all kinds of different stories, people, and adventures for you to uncover. The United Colonies is where you'll find New Atlantis, the first major human settlement in space. The people who live here value law, discipline, and the legacy of humanity. They consider themselves the true children of Earth. You ever think of joining up with the Vanguard, help the United Colonies even get your UC citizenship? New Atlantis isn't the only city within the United Colonies. The city of Sidonia on Mars to this day serves as the cool. largest mining facility for the United Colonies. Love it. Beyond <laughs> the United no, Colonies no. reach, Jesus. you might find yourself in a much more wild and independent coalition of star systems. This is Freestar Collective Space. Whoa! The capital of the Freestar <laughs> Collective is Aquila City. The Stone Root Inn is an Aquila so City cool. fixture. A ranger relies on judgment and intuition a ranger. to do what's best for the people. I'm going here, I'm going here, I'm going Neon here. It started out as a fishing platform, but is now known throughout the settled systems as a pleasure city where almost anything goes. If you've okay. got morality issues, this definitely isn't the job for you. Wow, wow, wow. Ryujin is hiring the best and brightest of today for our future tomorrow. Everyone has been chewed up and ground up by Neon. Try not to get yourself killed, all right? I, oh my God, this looks so cool. Outside the bounds of civilized space, Sorry, I'm like a broken record. I don't know what else to say. Systems to explore. I'm just enamored right now. these areas are also home to the most hostile factions in the galaxy. The great serpent hungers. All heathens shall be made dust in time. Okay. A new Whoa. face. Whoa. This is the face of a brave runner here to challenge the Red Mile. They think the galaxy is there. There's theirs. so many locations. That's wrong. awesome. It belongs to the Crimson it's Fleet. It's so nice it to see has. like some actual locales, you In know, Starfield, we're some more settlements. Cities and settlements further than we ever have before. It's all there, waiting wow. for you. A slice of humanity's future. So, ready to get out there? Throughout the galaxy, there are so many things to see and stories to experience. But the most important story is the one that you tell. I'm the type of person who spends hours yes, in character yes, creation. Yes, character and focus. I think people are going to be really excited when they see all of the improvements we've made. Whoa! One of the biggest cool. overhauls was done through our character generation system. We scanned a wide range of faces from different age groups and ethnicities. And by mixing and matching all that data, we were able to create highly detailed and diverse characters. We use that exact system to create all of the characters and NPCs you're going to see in the game. So any character you see almost always is a character you could make yourself. Cool. Hey, come on. Come on. Okay, take it easy. You were out cold. Uh, no physical damage. Mentally, the jury's still out. <laughs> you know who you are? New recruit for Argos Extractors? Ring any bells? Any oh, of this, this look familiar? Wow, awesome! Oh, great intro. Love that. You start your character creation journey as though you're cycling through employee records. You'll pick from wow. a lineup of 40 presets, and that'll I'm be your so starting excited. point. Your journey from there can be as detailed or as quick as you want it to be. This new system has more to offer than ever before. You can change before. walk style. I just noticed. That's awesome. Cool. It's also Very cool. the simplest character generation system we've ever had. We let the player get as close as possible I to make whatever they I love the UI. With the various facial morphs you can blend together, the dermesthetic and makeup, blemishes, scars, piercings, teeth settings. It's a lot, but I think it's the most fun to use. Oh, big character smile. Character creation is more <laughs> than just how you look. This is also where you start to decide who you want to be. Yes, That's where so. the backgrounds come in. This is what I want to know. Backgrounds give you a bit of backstory and start you out with three basic skills. Cool. From chef to dusty. 
You know, the crew still has a betting pool about which restaurant critic you must have crossed to wind up here. What's great about cool. backgrounds is you <laughs> never know when yours is going to come in handy. You could be in the middle of a fancy restaurant, talking to some guy, and suddenly I... you learn he needs a beast hunter to help track down Dude, a monster. Fine. I sincerely I hope they deliver on this. professionals anyway, given what happened the last time. We're also Please giving you the give me some like real ass role even playing. further by letting you pick up to three traits. Traits are completely optional, and they come with their own advantages and disadvantages. You could choose to meet your biggest fan. By the terror, by the terror, by the Is it really, <laughs> really you? He'll join your crew and he'll give you gifts if you're willing to put up with this constant commentary. No I way! Can't believe I get to stand near you, breathing the same air. I've got to have every molecule. The treat is kid stuff. You have to pay some credits to support your parents, but they're very sweet and it's really fun to go visit them. <laughs> Honey, we got ourselves a visitor. Oh my god! I came across some hostile zealots in space, <laughs> but because that. I had chosen a treat that made me the same religion as them, I was able to get by without any issues. Ge genuinely? A great one that gives oh my you god. a damage buff when your health is low, but mercenaries will randomly show up and try to kill you. That's awesome! No matter what you choose, there will be plenty of ways for you to tell your story. Please, you thank you. Trait, oh my God, I really. Oh, I hope. What I hope you? there's a lot of that. It's I hope there's a lot of that. The eyes. Off we go to another adventure. <laughs> no, we'll don't let do you that. discover that on your own. <laughs> he just wants your molecules. I'm gonna cry. I'm so excited about this game. Man. Once you've built the perfect character, that's when your journey can really begin. We took what we loved about skills and perks from our previous games and put them together to create an all new skill system. Each time you level Alex, up, Rune, thank you, you so get much a for skill the sub. point, I appreciate it. which can be used to unlock or rank up skills. Ranks are unlocked by completing challenges associated with that skill. Challenges become increasingly difficult as you work your way to higher ranks. With our five different skill trees and four ranks per skill, there's a lot to choose from. I like the Xeno Sociology skill because it lets you mind control aliens. No way! Oh, cool! Boost pack Whoa. out of the gate. I'm boost packing everywhere. Yes, uh, yes. I like maxing out my physical tree so I can get neuro strikes and just punch my way through combat. <laughs> awesome! <laughs> that one's no a lot way. of fun. Invest in the skills that suit your play style. I'm very much a stealth player. So, I'm out there pickpocketing everyone. My favorite part about dude, being stealthy. Dude, if this game delivers, if this game delivers like you're in a movie, and then jumping out and springing on people? I am going to be Whenever obsessed. Whenever possible, I like to talk my way through situations. This area's off limits. Fine, I'll issue you an access card. I'm more of a run and gun player. I like doing the death from above thing where I boost pack over guys and I throw landmines at them. Wow. Oh, that's fun. That was from Toy Story. That was a Toy Story sound like clip. You can't up. convince me otherwise. He <laughs> closed the door! <laughs> awesome! Amazing. Exploration is a key aspect of all our games. In Starfield, there are full star systems with new life, resources, and adventures. God, it's, it's gorgeous. Our team worked hard to strike a balance between fun and realism. We studied data from NASA and a multitude of other sources to help us make the world feel believable. From the way we approached planetary atmospheres, to the way we place biomes based on the planet's distance from the sun. Once we had created a grounded world, we could start looking at all the things that make that world fun. When That's what I like to hear. When you head into space, 
You'll be navigating asteroid fields, having chance meetings with interesting strangers, dude. You can't. Fighting in space, you can't tell me things like this. Derelict I'm, ships. I'm already gonna die if it's not good. It's all out there. Ultimately, it's about rewarding your curiosity, because whether it's on the surface of a planet, the alleys of a city, or the vastness of space, you never know what you'll find. Wow, wow, wow. Oh, yeah, Space show, show ship customization. Yes! Thanks to your ship. Your ship is almost like having another character or home <laughs> you can make all your own. I think you'll be blown away by the amount of stuff you can do. You can buy oh, a ship. Oh, this system I'm is sure going to be busted. Like. Customize and upgrade that ship. And hire a crew to keep it up and running. Look at that. Look at how big the and cabin is. It all starts is. in spaceports. Every spaceport has a ship technician where you can purchase, sell, and modify ships. Anything I can help you with? Maybe you start off with a speedy fighter that's perfect for bounty hunting. Then you might round out your ship roster with a hulking space freighter to run cargo missions, or even do a little smuggling. For now, though, we're going to take our starting ship, the Frontier, and make some changes. You can customize and upgrade everything you see here. And you have two ways to do that. You can quickly upgrade individual systems like your weapons or shields, or you can deep dive and enter the shipbuilder mode. Here you can change anything from the systems to the look and layout. God. Adding a new habitat module can give you more room yeah! for Yeah, oh my God, that's what I was looking Adding for. Adding cowling can change your ship's overall silhouette. That's what I was talking silhouette. about. Oh my God, you can like, you can change the drive internal drive allows for longer layout. distance space jumps. By changing the you external can even fully pieces. Customize your paint job to get the exact. That's look you amazing! Want. The parts you choose to build with don't just affect your ship's stats, they'll also affect what you can do yeah. inside your ship. <laughs> you can have modules for crafting or for storing and displaying your weapons. Starfield's in game ship manufacturers bring their own look and feel to every piece of your ship. From living oh, quarters God. to cargo holds mess halls, and control rooms. Our modified Frontier is a practical ship, but with a little creativity, your ship can look like almost anything you want. Almost. <laughs> That's a bit odd, but one of my favorite ways of customizing ships is um, I make them look like animals. That's awesome! No, you're so the valid. HMS no, that's fucking awesome. <laughs> Or had Platypus. a giant, giant tail to Harry, it. Harry the HMS platypus. And we've done spiders. We've done mechs. So it's really literally put her in charge. Is. She gets it. Put her in charge. She understands. And while you can build your home among the stars the way you want to, you're probably not the only person who will call your ship home. Ready to lift off when you are, Captain. My God, do you get a crew? Do you get Engine's a crew? Engines ready. You get a crew. <laughs> and ready, Captain. Some of the members of Constellation can join you on your journey. These companions can serve on your crew, and they'll always be there when you travel. We'll be traveling together until we either find an artifact or this lead runs dry. Each companion Sarah comes with their own valuable skills Sam for your Cole. ships and outposts, Barrett. as well as unique quest lines. Eventually, some friendships might blossom into romance. I don't know that I've ever really loved anyone except you. And if you're looking <laughs> Look for a little extra help on your ship, you can always character. hire additional okay. crew spaceports. Got any Holy room on your shit. ship for someone like me? This was, guys, this was like the best You'll part about Outer Worlds. You'll also potential crew members out in the world. Still think there might be a spot for me on your ship? I gotta get off this rock. Assign crew to your ship or outposts, and their unique skills will affect how they run. And just like companions, most crew members can lend a hand in the field. Take Bosco, for instance. He's designed around the, the core basics of a NASA machine. Please avoid getting shot. You might die. 
I still wanted to give it almost a humanoid personality, so I elongated the limbs. This tends cool. to make him feel more human-like and give him a little personality. It this does, you are correct. Exploration requires so Jenna, much Jenna, hi, shit. thank you so much for the raid. Using we're watching the, the Starfield Direct. And selection features in Starfield, we're, we're pogging out right now. Thank you, thank you. I hope you all had a fantastic stream. And now, let's take to the sky. Dude. Dude. It's so much, man. Are they going to cover flight now? Yes! We're putting you in the yes! cockpit of your very own spaceship and telling you that you can do pretty much anything. And that is really cool for us as developers. Space they keep piling it on. And, dangerous, and you should feel like you're in complete control every step of the way. We've extended that sense of control to ship combat. It's not about just hitting your triggers to fire your weapons. It's a complex dance between your piloting skills and our power allocation system. Boosting power to wow. your engines will make your ship faster. But everything else stinks. Powering up the grab drives will shorten the amount of time it takes before you can make a jump. But everything else stinks. And moving your power to your weapons and shields means you're ready for a fight. But then everything else fucking stinks. You should stinks. always be on your toes because you're not alone out there. There's monsters outside. Unlocking wow, it actually looks skill really good. <laughs> allow you to zero in on specific subsystems of the ship you target. Dude. Dude. After destroying an enemy ship, you can loot the remains from your cockpit. You can always turn any ship that engages it you into scrap. It doesn't look like it's not being held apart at, or held together at the seams, but also. But you can also take a more personal approach by docking with the enemy vessel it looks fun. and boarding their ship. Once you've taken control ship of the enemy ship, oh my God. it's yours. No way! <laughs> Add to your fleet and retrieve it at any spaceport. There is no fucking but way. But space is way more than fighting for your life. Just like you when you're planet that right there are now. plenty of sights to see and stops to make on the way to your next adventure. Like these massive star yards. Wow. Walk the halls, talk to the crew. Maybe get talked into buying a Dude, whole new I'm ship. A civilian in my star yard. Let's see about getting uh... you a proper ship. One worthy of you. Maybe you'll dock with a gigantic battleship like the UC Vigilance. Or rub elbows with the galaxy's wealthy elite on a cruise ship fit for the stars. <laughs> cool! <laughs> Awesome. Oh, uh, we're going to crash a we're going to crash well. a bourgeoisie party. You can hail any ship you come across to trade, swap info, or maybe even commit an act of piracy. Let's do this. When I'm playing, I generally go crazy. Um, I definitely go like the more piracy routes. Um, I want to take over ships. I'm going to board ships. I'm like this is now mine. I steal all the sandwiches and put them you know, in my cargo hold that I have specifically for sandwiches. I don't want to play the hero, um, but I want to go Dude, out and just start I am telling you, put her in charge of the game. She gets it. Some strangers might be she looking understands. for a little human connection in the darkness of space. Hello, stranger. She, her I brain is so big. Food. If you want to come on over, just pop on by. She is the, the fucking heart the and soul of this team. I am own. telling you right now. The thing I love most about Starfield is that it is a Bethesda game through and through. It's really about going to strange new places, meeting interesting people, and getting sidetracked on zany adventures. 
then realizing two hours later that you're involved in a completely new story. You're human. We thought we were the only ones to leave Earth. No way. That DNA <laughs> is so present here. It's in our random encounters. It's in our handcrafted quests. And it feels so cool to play it and just make your own path in this universe. There are Guys. over a thousand planets out there Guys. just waiting for you to visit. We want you to feel like explorers. Breaking ground on new planets, exploring. I every literally, inch I don't know if I want to stream this galaxy. or not. I'm, I'm scared. We want you to feel hopeful. We want you to feel this sense of awe and wonder. And sometimes a little fear. There's We're giving so you a much. massive playground and a ton of toys and just setting you free. I'm, I mean, I'm, I, I've always said I'm, I'm going to stream some of it. Like, I'm going to at least stream, like, my first impressions of it. But, like, dude. Everybody, there's we've so shown much you so here much that I would stuff. love to we share. We just take a little break and show you something a, a little bit different. You know, we put okay. so much detail into our game worlds, and we love the opportunity to bring that into the real world with our collector's editions. Okay. And for this game, uh, we've done a watch. It is the Constellation Explorer's Whoa! watch. Wait, that's like an um, actual? This is the watch that you actually get in the game. That what? That's part of your HUD, where it's the compass and then environmental actually information. Actually cool. It connects to your phone to give you notifications <laughs> and other information. And we've also designed this really cool case that it comes with, uh, Eastvon. Yeah, we really took as much care in designing you this case as we did You get an actual fucking watch. watch. Our attention to detail in the game totally translates to There's this. no way this isn't like $500. By the cases that the astronauts used during the Apollo era Dude. to bring back samples from the moon. It's got the intricate Do locking I dare? mechanism. Authentic, heavy, comes with a constellation I'm, patch. I'm side-eyeing my bank account. I'm side-eyeing my bank account. The believability of this as something that would exist in the world, in the Starfield universe. Oh, and hey, take this. You'll find it very useful out there. And it even tells the time. Legitimately? We actually have something Dude. else. Now that we're part of Xbox, we get to work with the amazing people on the Xbox hardware team, yeah! and together we have created controller! this custom limited Literally, edition it, Starfield controller. It looks controller. so good. It it's looks awesome. so good. It is now, you know, our favorite controller. Same. We love this because it's inspired by the actual controls of your spaceship. And not only that, we've created the first ever custom headset with Xbox. Dude. And this is a perfect pairing with that controller. I'm, I'm going crazy. I love products. I love products. Give me more products. Give me that freaking pre-order for the controller right now. God, this game looks good. In every one of our games, we always put so much care into all those little details that breathe life into our worlds. But Starfield isn't just a Bethesda Game Studios world. It's a Bethesda Game Studios galaxy. So why go this big with Starfield? Because we want to give you freedom on a galactic level. The freedom to experience both the exciting planets and, and the, the shitty quiet ones. ones. <laughs> okay, quiet quiet is a is Scanning a great a word choice. Before you land is a great way to get a sneak peek. Very at the tactical. I like that. Good job. You can use for crafting, building, and customizing. I think what is cool about this whole system that we we generate the planet itself as a procedural content, but the handcrafted content itself comes as the player explore. Our system builds a planet as the player approaches it. We stitch together block of terrain. After that, we have the system that adds interesting locations for the player to explore, creatures oh, to encounter. Oh shit, so it's, it's a lot of it's procedural in terms of like up. the smaller kind of stuff populated of throughout. Environmental storytelling that the best is known for. Okay. Aggressive creatures have been disrupting our experiments. Their habitat isn't far yeah, from Yeah, I mean, here. I, I feel like that's that's the only way you can really, like, 
so do even something at this scale, visit right? The same planet that you had, you would have but a still be able to put to care into the actual like written content. Yeah, it definitely, I mean, it's not, it could also go horribly wrong is the thing. We'll just have to see how it plays out. A lot of this stuff is very like too good to be true. I think there are definitely gonna be some, some cracks, some falters here and there, but as long as overall it delivers on just the general promise and the concept of this, I'm still extremely excited. Obviously, not expecting every system to be perfect. I'm not expecting all these systems to be to pulled off without with a hitch. Planet, you want um, to and there's going to be bugs. <laughs> like, it's going to be Harvest resources and be on your way. pretty buggy, I imagine. But um, I don't know, man. The views. This is with just right up my scanner, alley. You'll chart the uncharted and discover exotic wildlife. If you have the skills, you can even figure out that certain creatures and plants you can build an outpost and produce resources from those plants and animals. You can get experience and rewards for fully surveying planets and fully surveying a whole system. Cool, but no thank you. <laughs> Not doing that. When we were that. concepting these creatures, we really wanted to think of them as natural to the environment. We didn't want alien Sorry, monsters. Sorry, Gerard. <laughs> we wanted native wildlife. Something you've never seen before. When it comes to our exteriors, when the sun moves, all that light is calculated in real time through the atmosphere. Our biggest goal for lighting with Starfield was to make the game feel more filmic, to use lighting and color to really make it feel more cinematic. And I like it. I like it a lot. My friends, you did a good job on the visual style. I'm super into the way this game looks. cinematic is like a is a word you kind of shudder at when it comes to AAA gaming nowadays but I, I honestly think they mean more like filmic I mean they, they literally said filmic as well I think I think in terms of like the vibe of cinema that's actually something I'm really into I think that because I love the outer worlds but I really like After a take on like a like a big a space RPG a like that that has a more like filmic vibe outpost can be built almost anywhere on any planet and the habitat modules come in all shapes and sizes, filling all different purposes. You can even live in them. Assign crew and companions to work at your outposts for added bonuses and set up extractors to harvest resources while you're away. No way. Oh Something my cool God. We have this time <laughs> is we have a new fly cam where you can toggle between on foot building or you can now use a top Dude. down isometric Dude. camera, Dude. which helps plan out larger parts of the outposts and placing those what larger the fuck? hubs. So that way you can really plan your structures and what the overall feel of your outpost is. And then when you're on your feet, you can really decorate and <laughs> fine tune things much Inside. easier. Inside! Inside! The inside! God, there's no way. One of these, one of these systems that they've shown off is gonna be a nightmare. <laughs> and I just, what I hope is that, cause we know that one of these systems, one of these like gameplay loops is gonna be a disaster. I just hope it's the right one, you know? Mod your weapons like, to adapt as to long your as it's style. not like Different the campaign or the scopes, role playing or like the, like the flight. A selection of grips and barrels different ammunition like explosive rounds well maybe the flight would be okay because you know you have like fast travel and all that stuff all you stealth but, like, players out there will surely need i don't a suppressor. know i i just hope they i hope the priorities are in order you can also choose to go hands-on with melee weapons dude melee looks so much better i think it's always a delicate balance maybe between, it's just the like, animation what's realistic but... what's sim and what's hollywood and i think wow, we sort of wow. err on the side of like what's fun for the player that's, yeah, that's a good call Dude, dude, dude. With Starfield, we've completely overhauled our combat. It's more dynamic, the animations are more fluid. It it looks like it. Like this looks fun. It just feels great. I hope so, man. We probably have more mods and more weapons in this game than <laughs> I want to say any other game we've done before. It certainly looks like you can variety. brute force it to be fun if nothing else. 
Upgraded gear is just one of the many factors to pay attention to when engaging in combat. You may need to switch things up based on your environment. Gravity is different for each planet, and boost packs are excellent for getting around. Do they have melee weapons? And they literally just showed melee weapons combat. like like a minute ago. <laughs> Sometimes you'll even feel like you're flying. The melee looks super cool as well. Zero gravity environments pose a different challenge. Dude. Firing a ballistic weapon in zero G will <laughs> actually push you backwards. Zero gravity environments. Fuck! Energy That's weapons, awesome. on the other hand, offer a more stable shooting experience. We also have mag weapons. These are this is like this is straight up like this is my dream game. Arrays. Each barrel has its own targeting laser, which is scary to me. Some serious damage. Because I can never have what I want, <laughs> and this is a universal fact. So what's gonna go wrong, you know? Whether you want to get up close and personal with your own two fists, or you like more compact weapons like pistols and submachine guns, or maybe you prefer something bigger. Starfield's got you covered. I'm I'm going insane. I'm going insane. <laughs> I'm going insane! I, I really like the confidence to show off this much moment-to-moment -moment gameplay, you know? Because you can, you can see a bit of the jank here. Like, I'm gonna be honest, you can see it, but they're still showing it and it still looks overall like a fun package, you know? And I like that. That gives that gives me a little hope that they kind of know what they're doing. Oh? Oh, no, 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 what? 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 Thanks again no fucking for being way. with us today. Stop we are just so right grateful now. that you've taken the time and spent it here. I know there was probably a oh, lot to take in. There's a lot God. to the game, even more than we could show here. Oh you know, as God. we play it, we're always sharing these unique and special they just moments teased, they just that teased only a space game like magic. this can bring. I, I mean, I when assume that's I related to the artifacts, it special, right? It really is the people here. This game is a reflection of the incredible and passionate team that made it. All of them putting something special of themselves into it. I like that. So let's hear some of their favorite moments. I like that. I love how much the showcase has been the focused on that our final what the dev team is the enjoying tech about tech the game together as they to make create it. Some of the most beautiful sunsets and sunrises we've ever had in any of our games. I love the creatures, the exploration, every biome is different. The word that comes to mind is vast. I like to use our photo mode to take rock star photos. She, she's so... I just love that she's constant so, she's feel so of based. discovery. And wow, I can't believe that there's more here. I'm most excited about our outpost building systems. Literally gives me hope for the every future. Every time you step out on a planet, it's a unique experience. You spent all this time building your ship and you see it on the landing pad. These oh things are gigantic. Oh it's the kind God. of thing that you just can't get anywhere else. There's something about seeing a tower over in the distance and going, I know the gravity's low here. I think I can make that jump. My favorite part is biomes, spaceships, audio design, planets, the day-night cycle. Those details matter to me. Diplomacy, exploration, freedom, the ending. Vesco. The Obviously. ending, okay. I love the robot so much. The incredible amount of worlds we created. Sniper rifles, come on. Lever action, rocket launcher, brain sprout. I laugh, but some people might find creepy. I don't know. I don't know no, I them. laugh too. <laughs> the thing that I enjoy most about the game Hell yeah, is brain the sprout. freedom to be who you want to be, do what you want to do. It's what you've come to expect from a Bethesda title, but on a much bigger scale. Literally, on literally the best showcase us, so I far. Wait for you to play Starfield and make your own special moments. 
Wow. Man, I am so relieved at how continuously excited I am for this, even after seeing so much of it. Like, this did not disappoint, and that's insane to me because I was already immensely excited. Oh my god. Wow. This is... It's, I, I'm going crazy. How much is the, how much is the Constellation Edition? Is it gonna ruin my life? Dude. What an incredible showcase. That was so good. Stop, stop playing that sound. <laughs> wow, wow, I... <laughs> oh. I'm gonna have to update my my list with so many new games. Yeah, show Ichiban, what are you doing? A bone, I can't believe they showed a bone. I can't believe. This is what this is what I said. Honest to God, this is what I said. Um, they showed Avowed, and it looks awesome. They showed Starfield, and it looks awesome. If both of those games come out and they deliver, I am good. And I, I am good for them to take literally as long as they need on Elder Scrolls Six. I mean, obviously, they should anyway. But like, that's gonna hold me over, dude. Dude. Incredible. Genuinely. Easily the best showcase so far. That was amazing. I am, I am fed. I am well fed. Oh my God. Vinny, thank you so much. Hi, thank you so much for gifting us up to, uh, you just, uh, you, you, you tools bootles. Thank you. Thank you. Dude, <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm so, I'm, I'm crazy right now. Oh boy. I don't know what to do with myself. Okay. So, okay. So here's the thing. So last, last night we played a big chunk of Tears of the Kingdom and we got to some really exciting developments. And I said that today, after the Xbox and Starfield showcase, I was going to consider playing more. Um, I, oh man, I don't, I don't know if I have the energy right now to play Tears. Um, I might, yeah, I'm, I'm going to be posting the VODs in a short while anyway. Yeah, it's it's Sunday. You're right. I'm going to I'm going to so I'm going to say probably not today. Assuming I got nothing else going on tomorrow, like nothing else comes up tomorrow, we will get back to Tears of the Kingdom and it's going to be insane because we had some crazy developments last night. If you haven't seen last night's stream, keep an eye out on Snapcube too, because today I will be posting both parts of last night's stream. There'll be separate VODs. Um. So, yeah. Or, well, assuming they both are fully processed, by the way. It's, it's up to YouTube, but assuming they're both fully processed by now or soon, they will be coming out tonight. Um, so until tomorrow, Tuesday at the absolute latest, but I'm going to try to come back tomorrow and play more tears because I need to finish that game, like, soon. 
Uh, and we're we're close enough that I, I honestly think I could finish that game like by the end of the week. So we're in the final stretch. So if you want to catch up again, Snapcube 2. Otherwise, how about I don't know how many people are going right now that are still going to be going. Um, is here. Hold on. Let me let me go to Joy Stream. Hey, are you still going to be going after that showcase? I could do that. Because I'm trying to find someone to raid. Are you still going to be going after that showcase? I, I don't think so. Damn. Um, here, 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 babe, babe, babe. Let's, let's, here, let's, let's see who, who's raidable. Who is raidable? Raidable. Hang on a second. We'll find somebody. Who, who up? Special events, Who special up? events, special events. Everyone is streaming special events. I know, yeah. <laughs> um, Everyone's going. But, oops. Um, and a lot of people are probably ending as well, which is why I'm like, oh. she can't hear me, by the way. I'm just. Uh, oh, Casey Explosion is playing Power Wash Simulator. I think that's where my raid's going. Yeah, Raid Planet. <laughs> Dude, Raid Planet. Raid that's Let me see. Raid. All right. Well, raid I'm, Planet. I'll, um. <laughs> raid Planet. Okay, let me, uh. Casey Explosion is an option. I will hold on. Who else is going though? Like, is anyone on my immediate list? Ah. Uh... Let's see. I'm trying. I'm trying to find somebody who's not doing. Who's not doing special events? Here, I'm gonna. I'm gonna stop the YouTube recording. Vodhead, see ya. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.